Yeah, so many events happening here in the Midlands and it's shaping up to be a beautiful weekend to get out and enjoy some sunshine, some sunshine and cool temperatures in Tassar. That's right. Let's get to check your forecast now with meteorologist Tony Shivaroli. The fall fields are hitting this morning, Tony. Ah, yes, they are into Sar Jamal. We're looking good. There's more cars on the road now. Got at 26 checking on a near eye near mile marker 110. Let's keep on. It is 618. How was the rest of your morning shaping up? It's going to be with a lot of sunshine once we see that sun rise up downtown Columbia, just desperately hanging on to that 60 degree mark, as has been Orangeburg. But Camden Lugoff backtracked into those upper 50s, along with areas like Winsboro, close to 58. Sumter, though, mid 50s there, also down towards Manning. But even Lexington, look at that, a good chill in the air, not too chilly. This is going to be something we're eventually going to see dip back even further into the week, but still a little bit cooler than yesterday. If you thought yesterday was cool. Quick look again around the region. Your neck of the woods will be likely seeing some upper 50s. I would be hard pressed to see that 60 for Columbia Dr uh, drop back a couple more degrees. Orangeburg, you might be in the cool or might be in the uh, safe region to stay close to 60, but either way, not that big a deal. We're still going to be getting a little bit more of those fields out there with a nice breeze out of the north and east. More clouds will work to filter in tomorrow. That's going to be the start of a change of pace we're seeing in air masses, but it doesn't come along with a change in the way of precipitation. We're still going to stay dry, and as we go into the weekend, that's something that remains dominant. We can't really see much in the way of the production of moisture. It'll try to move in, but we've been so dry. Air, uh, high pressure has been so dominant for us. It's not really something that is allowed to switch up much because watch we go on into our Thursday. We're still keeping on with a bit of this dry air. Some moisture tries to fight back for the coast. So where I'm standing right now down towards the low country areas such as Charleston, Myrtle Beach, they could see a little bit of clouds mix in a few little showers, not much, but a few that will try to get into our region, but it will continue to dry up. Now, as we get into Friday, we're going to start to see slowly but surely winds trying to turn out of the north and west. Now for the morning, we're just going to see a little bit more of this moisture linger on in the way of clouds overhead. OK, we see dew points a little bit closer to the temperatures. That's how we settle. Then we go further into the day and sunshine and the sun just rises up and burns off those clouds. It's still a pretty simple process that continues. We go on into Saturday where we will see a little bit more of early morning cloud cover, but that's about it. Sun still will try to break out once more. We get these winds. If you see on your screen right now, a good gust is possible between 20 to 25 miles an hour, but it's going to be a cool breeze coming in. Now we're going to be getting highs into the afternoon because of the sun that still wins out in the mid 70s, but that's comfy, really comfy for Saturday. You can still get away with a very light extra layer later portions of the day, especially in the shade. That's the thing in the sun, not so much, but if you're in the shade, it's still going to be feeling pretty cool and then really cool as we get on into Sunday. It's going to be this consistent, drier and even cooler air than we've been seeing, and it's all around for your weekend plans. But how about for your Thursday? Still need to be getting some things accomplished outside, perhaps getting those Halloween decorations out. Maybe I need to make that run to the store, get some early Halloween candy. Sunshine yet again. 80s afternoon going into the night into the 60s. Not going to be as cool because clouds act as an insulator. We go into that first alert 10 day forecast and we get those temperatures to slowly dip back. Not as much for Friday, but that big change comes into your weekend. It doesn't come along really with much of the wave rain chances, but those 70s will be instated and then those 40s for Sunday morning and to jumpstart a cool work and school week start.